everybody. Welcome to another video in round two. We have five more bottles tonight. These are all 500 milliliter bottles. It's half a liter. First up, we have Niagara. This is from Home Depot. This is a really cheap bottle of water that beat out collagen. This is one of the cheapest bottles of water I've ever done. And next up, we have 365 electrolyte water. This beat out 365 spring water. This is from Whole Foods and it has electrolytes, which are like salts. And then we have Big Win. This is from Rite Aid. This beat out 7-Eleven bottled water. And um, yeah, it's another pretty cheap brand. And we have Icelandic Glacial. This beat out Eternal Natural Alkaline Spring Water. This is from Iceland, obviously. And it has, uh, you know, a glacial on the top of the bottle. It's kind of an expensive bottle. Next up, we have Volvic. This is from France, and it's from the store Giant Eagle. And it's um, it beat out Aquapana in the first round. And yep, it's from a Volcano. So I don't really have much else to say, like I said before, because. I already reviewed all these in the first round. I already gave a description of them in the first round. So we're just going to open up and start drinking right away. Niagara has a small lid. Yep. Tastes just like, um, tastes just like standard Nestle water. Niagara is a different company, but it tastes just like Nestle, it tastes like Deer Park, Poland Springs. They all taste very similar. Here's the electrolyte water from Whole Foods. It has a bigger lid. Yep. It tastes very similar to Smart Water. And it's a very similar shape to smart water, very similar type of plastic. It says it has electrolytes, but I don't really taste any, to be honest. Big win. Pretty similar to Niagara. Maybe more of a, you know, more of a plastic -y taste than big win. This one feels like a little bit thicker or something. It feels thicker than Niagara. Which isn't necessarily better or worse, but just pointing that out. It's like a glacial. And I've been noticing that bottles from Fiji and Iceland really like to have a squared off side. Not, not many American bottles have... Uh, this word offside. It's really good. Kind of feels like feels colder than um, the other bottles. I don't know. I don't understand why. That's happened in in previous reviews. I don't understand why. These were all stored in the same place. This one feels colder. It has the uh, the bigger size lid. Fulvic also has the bigger lid. I think it has a wider opening, too. Yeah, let me try the Iceland cap on Volvic. No, it doesn't fit. The Iceland cap does not fit on Volvic. Because Volvic, I guess, has a bigger opening. That's interesting. Yeah, you can definitely taste the... Uh, Volcano it tastes like like a uh, dirt almost. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna eliminate this first. I'm actually a little surprised this made it to this round. This was compared to Aquapana, which wasn't very good. I think the reason this one made it to this round 
it's just because Aquapana was a was a pretty bad bottle. So anyway, I'm gonna eliminate this fulvic water, which is this is kind of an expensive bottle actually. I think it was like over six dollars for a six pack of this, which is pretty expensive. So anyway, this one's out. It's kind of surprising that that's out before these cheap brands. Excuse me. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. I think Big Win is the next one to go out. Um, tastes a little plasticky. Um. I'm just I'm going back and forth between Big Win and Niagara, and just Niagara's uh, tasting a little better. They look at the bottles; they're very very similar, but if you look very closely, there are some slight differences. Big Win is a little bit more round than Niagara for the the top of the bottle. It's a little bit more round. Uh, the label's a little bit higher on this one. They're very, I mean, it looks, you know, at first glance, it looks the same, but there are some slight differences. So, big win. You are the big loser. That's really good. This one's really good. Um, the first video of round two was pretty difficult. This one's actually a little easier. <laughs> I think I already know the winner. Um, I'm going to eliminate electrolyte water now. There's not a, not, a, not a strong taste of electrolytes, to be honest. But um, there's a very, very slight taste of electrolytes. Which is like drinking salt water, you know. Um, it's not as bad as Propel. Propel has electrolytes, and it tastes like you're drinking ocean water. With uh, this 360 electrolyte water, like I said, it's a very slight taste, but I think it would be better without it, without the taste of um, the salt. So let's just finish this up and get rid of this one. So, okay, it's down to Niagara Icelandic Glacial. Here we go. I think it's funny. Let me go back to this bottle. This 365 bottle is from Whole Foods, and it says on the bottle, <laughs> it's a non-GMO product. That's so stupid to me. Like, why would anybody think that water is genetically modified? I don't know. I think that's, that's just a funny thing to put on a label. It's so stupid. I mean, I guess that's just something that people who shop at Whole Foods like on every label that they buy. And the glacial it says it's a carbon neutral product. Ah, this is actually a lot of water. It's like two and a half liters. I feel pretty full. All right, ready for the final winner. I'm going to eliminate Niagara. This is a very good value bottle. Um, this is one of the cheapest bottles I ever 
bought, I think it was on sale, because they were promoting the Captain America Civil War movie. And it's a very good value. I bought a lot of this bottle of water because of the, the value, and I'm going to be drinking a lot of it in future videos. Um, but I'm going to eliminate this just because the taste of this Icelandic glacial water is slightly better. And um, this has like a, you know, like I said at the beginning, this tastes colder than those other bottles. Maybe it's just subconscious. Maybe it's because I'm looking at a glacial glacier on top of the bottle. But it tasted, uh, it really did taste colder at the beginning. And um, it tasted really good. Like no, no chemicals, no plasticky taste to it. It's, it's a really good, good one, compared to those at least. So this is moving on to round three. Let's finish it up. All right. Congratulations. Thanks for watching, everyone.